Doran Garland says she was driving by the building at the time. And then I saw the smoke and the flames and I just jumped out to run and help. Garland saw a woman holding her child out the window and that's when her motherly instinct kicked in. I looked up and this, she had her, her baby out the window so the baby could breathe. The smoke alarm alerting David Woodburn. He was in a third floor apartment with his two children. I opened my door, got blasted in the face with all black smoke. I grabbed my kids instantly, ran downstairs, put them outside. Ran back in the building, started kicking everybody's doors. Uh, people started running outside. Joshua Tozier lives on the first floor. He came home to find the flames. The minute I got here, you could see the smoke. Everybody was, you know, getting out. They had a couple people the ladders they were pulling out of the top floor. And it was the third floor back side of the building that was on fire. At least five people either jumped or were thrown from windows. Obviously those who were thrown would have been children. Uh, and uh, there was at least one victim that was taken over a ground ladder. Tonight, the Red Cross is assisting the victims who will be spending the night at a hotel. They had nothing. They took them out of the apartment building with what they had on their bodies. Lost everything. All my pets are gone. Uh, my furniture, everything's ruined. I'm just glad people are safe, alive. Now, in total, eight people were taken to the hospital. Two of them, including the infant, were airlifted. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Live in Ossipee, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.